Hello everyone, this is Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at checkboxes and see how you can use them to incorporate them into another formula. And this comes as a question from a good friend of mine, Dan. So Dan, I hope you can follow along on this and it helps you in your, uh, in your query. Uh, first thing that we want to do is make sure we have the developer tab on our ribbon and it doesn't come that way by default in Excel so we need to go over to file options customize ribbon and in this column here make sure developer is checked we click OK and now you can see we have the developer tab on our ribbon click on that and under insert here's all our form controls and we're going to click a checkbox and we're going to oops, checkbox and we're going to insert that here on our spreadsheet so we've inserted the checkbox and we're going to rename that checkbox uh, let's see I agree click off of that and now we have a checkbox that we can check and uncheck the next thing we need to do is tie that to a cell so we're going to right click on that and select format control and there we're going to link it to a cell and I'm just going to link it to cell C7 click OK and now you'll see it when I check or uncheck that now we have a true and false that appears so we can do a couple things with true and false uh, first of all, if we take that cell and multiply it times a 1 or divide it by a 1 or add 0 to it, that'll convert that to the number 1 or 0. So you can see when it's true, it's a 1. When it's false, it's a 0. Or we could do something like equal if uh, this cell equals true, then dog. If not, then cat. And as we check it, you'll see that'll change to dog or cat, or, or my one is changing to a one or a zero, whatever the box is checked or unchecked. So that's how you can add a checkbox to your Excel spreadsheet. I hope you find that useful, and I hope that you can uh, put it to good use in your uh, in your day-to-day -day operations. So, thank you very much for watching my blog post today. If you'd like to see more, uh, please go to excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe to my blog post. Uh, happy excelling!